Jim and Janine here. Today we're going to go on a real submarine and a battleship. And now here's the big ticket area for the U.S. Alabama Museum. This could cost us anywhere from about $13 to $15 to attend the museum today. So now we're going through a large exhibition hall of vintage transportation, a lot of aircraft, jeeps, helicopters pretty big equipment. You can actually touch some of the stuff. Hey, so now we're going on to the big boat for a big tour. Let's view it. We've made it up to the deck. You can see all the armory. We're trying to figure out how to descend in the main part of the boat. Here's a wide view of all the things they have available to see here. We're getting ready to descend in detail to Alabama. Interesting views. Well, this is the captain's cabin. Large dining room, living room. It is a pretty large bed. And here's the radio room here. Hi, how are you? First time here? Yes. That's the first time I've done it. We'll come back to here to go down. The yellow will take you outside. We'll end up outside of the back. Okay. What what time do we arrive in Nassau? What, what time do we arrive in Nassau? <laughs> There's a theater, so our troops probably had entertainment at one time with Hollywood movies during the war. Officer stateroom has better gigs. So we're now we're in the bakery. It turns out when a big boat like this at sea, they can't just have bread delivered. So they had to mix all the flour, cook all the muffins, the biscuits, and bread. So this is the site of the ship's bakery. Look at those loaves of bread. So here's the mess hall where they do all the cooking for the ship. And this is what the food is served. Look at all the sausages, fruits, cereal. And this is where actually where you can eat. Twenty five hundred people day. They even have an ice cream store here. These are the entertainment rooms for the officers. A lot of exhibits, additional sleeping space. Sometimes they even use hammocks. They hung from the ceiling and like the mess hall. Also on site is a real submarine called the USS Drum. Let's tour the drum. So now we're on top of the submarine. The views of Mobile foreground, flag. So I'm dying of curiosity if they're gonna let us go down and tour the inside of a submarine. It feels like a deck though. This cost us 15. We're going in a ship and a submarine. Yeah, so this is exciting. We get to go down into the heart of the sub. We're not talking sub sandwich here. We're talking submarine. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, use coordination. I'm not going to video us and walking on the stage. So we are in the belly of the submarine. Steps. Oh gee, these are torpedoes. This place is fully armed. Not a joke. So you have to come down some steps to enter. Okay, Officer Salo jumps into this. When you're 6'6", six, six, it's hard to get into a submarine. Jim would have gotten exempt. I think from I'm the, bigger than the submarine. Man. Jim would have oh, been sucked so bad. Jim would have been exempt from the Navy because of this. Is side. it coming? Yeah. Here's the. This might even be the officers. Oh, so this is like a bunk room. So what do you got in here? This like? is where the officers ate their meals. Is that so? Yeah. Officer's dining room. It was the same food, but it was fancied up. 
A little private dining room. I think, look at his room. He gets a, oh, they get a, they get a little bigger room. I think this is my favorite. Officer room. Oh, so he actually has a bed there, too. These are bunk pads. Now, where do they keep their clothes and their uniforms and stuff? In there. Oh, so it has to be folded, not hung. Oh, here, look. Be careful in your hands. Oh, right. You're, thanks for telling me about this, man. These, I think, are all officer guys. I can't even imagine what these other guys are. Look what movie star is that he has a picture of. Now, I should know that, but who is that? Is that Susan Hayward or Linda Darnell or Rita Hayworth? I don't know. A lot of retired military give tours. Well, that would only go for real. And this is number 12. But this is your place, huh? This is my close to home. Thank you for all your service. Thank you, for paying for it. They're real life stories. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you, you deserve everything you get. That's like $2,000 a month. Oh, yeah. You should be getting more for all you get. Well, I think we ought to be a million each. Me too. Yes. I mean, they that. Say, that's all they'd give you, and then you were done there. You know that. Yeah. They, they paid they pay those guys with the football how much millions of dollars. I know. You're right. And you're you a bigger hero. Now we're at our kitchen. Okay, so we uh, made it into the kitchen area here where they you can see the mock demonstration of sausage, eggs, and some other goodies. Very small and compact. Some mess tables are available too. More bunks. Some larger bunk rooms. Oh, this is where they hang their clothes, uniforms. So here's the bulk cap toilet for them. I believe there's also an adjacent small shower here. Oh, it's like a laundry room, I guess. And you're looking at the engine and mechanisms to run this hugely powerful submarine. Now there's an exhibit for the engines used to power the ship. This is very informative, seeing how the people who worked on the submarines live and work. Yeah, and there's a gift store here too, and bathrooms. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe.